so we just pulled in front of this little red and blue <laughs> teal building. We're gonna die. <laughs> Are we gonna die if we walk in there? There's nobody here. We're, we're gonna be, we're eating human today. Oh That's what's in. Is it? He said this is the place. place. He said this is the place, Ben. We're, we're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you like a carne asada burrito? Okay. Uh, no beans. You're what? Yeah, you did great. Thank you. It's amazing. Mike wants like four more. A little small, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> pizza. This is a pepperoni roll. You well, this is the appetizer before he eats like four pieces of pizza later at the bash. Oh, dude. You know it. <laughs> Pre-game. Pre-game appetizer. Pre-game appetizer. What's up all you addicts out there? Thanks so much for tuning into another Addicted Fishing Vlog. We're at another one of our winter bashes and this time we're at Fisherman's Marine in Tigard, Oregon. So we're gonna kind of bring you guys behind the scenes, show you what you're missing out on on these bashes. We really want you guys to show up to these things. They're fun events, free pizza, lots of giveaways. It's a great time. We get to meet a lot of you addicts that see us and watch all of our videos. It's fun to shake your hands and finally just get to interact with all you. So if you've never been to one, I highly recommend it, but we're gonna let you into a little sneak peek of one right now. Yeah. Top secret stuff in those bags. You, you cannot to. see you this stuff. These are like the nuclear code numbers to steal out fishing right here. Oh, we got a little fishing rod. Just pile it on. You got it there? Who's the first person here? Who? Well, that a boy. <laughs> that a boy. Actually, I drove up at 5 30 yeah. this morning. Where are you coming from? Coos Bay. I need help. Oh, yeah. yeah. The red ticket's going to be for the boat giveaway, so make sure that you write it really legible. The blue ticket that I'm going to be handing out is going to be for the giveaway at the end of the night. So, here we are. My bag is just as wet as it was at the last seminar, thanks to the rainy weather. We're busting out the addicted eggs here. We're gonna cover just a little bit of everything tonight. We're gonna talk sizes, we're gonna talk colors, we're gonna talk how to fish it, we're gonna talk how to set it up. And hopefully a few of these people in the building will leave tonight a little bit better steelhead fishermen. That's the goal at least. All right, guys, you want the free hat? Yeah. Get out! You're not very loud right now. How come you're eating pizza and not Mike? I haven't even had a slice. I can feed Mike Live. pizza. What is it? Are you all you guys out there watching? Hey, do you, a, do you think he, he Mike could sit here piece. this long with all this pizza sitting here and not eat some of it? I've had two slices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, go pan out here, Sean, real quick. Look at all these people in the audience. If you guys, if one of you guys that are watching are here, comment down below. Let's point yourself out. Which row are you in? No, the further strike. Oh, I like it. Okay, guys. How are y'all doing tonight? There we go. So what we're going to do here, we stop people trickling in, getting pizza, getting seats. We're going to wait about 15 minutes to get started, but we got some other stuff that we want to kind of get going here. And first things first, I want to know who drove the furthest away. And we're going to check your license, so don't lie. Well, let's start with, did anybody drive three hours to get here? Raise your hand. Couple guys in the back, four hours? Three, oh, okay, okay, three hours, put your hands up again. Draw on the line at four. four. Oh, we got a four over here, where are you from? Coos Bay. Bay. And he was here first. Are you guys, you guys any further than Coos Bay over there with a the three hour hands up? Roseburg, Coos Bay, which one's further? I have no idea. Coos Bay. 
Well, thanks to our great partners at Gerber. I have a really nice night for you from Gerber for taking that drive. Thank you very much. Awesome. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start this off with just some round of questions like we like to do because we've got some awesome gift cards that Fisherman's Marine Supply donated tonight. Let's give them a hand for letting us do this event here. Woo there you go. How many people is this your local you know, fishing store? Raise your hand. Sweet. A lot of local guys, a lot of non-local guys, too, coming into the store. Heck yeah. Awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to play the little round robin here. We've got three good questions for you guys tonight. We're going to pick, I'll, I'll uh, just kind of go with the first hand I see raised. Most of you guys know the drill and know the answer to the first question. But when was Fishing Addicts as Northwest established? Right there on the plaid. 2009. 2009. That's right. We got it. Super fan. That's right. That's right. And then $10 gift card there. It's a pack of worms and a can of steelhead eggs. So second question, guys. Um, it's a little bit more difficult, and I haven't asked this one before. How many videos do we have uploaded to Addicted Fishing? How many? Addicted fishing or the addicted life? Addicted fishing. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, the, the, and the expression was OS. I have no idea. What do you got? 574. One off. 574. Oh, I think we're going to let him get that because I don't. How did you hear that? I just looked it up real quick. Okay, good job. Another big initiative, of course, as you guys know, is the Hatchery Wild Camp. Hatchery Wild Coexist campaign. How many people have not? heard about Hatchery Wild Coexist. Okay, we got a few guys going to talk. It's okay, you can raise your hand, it's cool. That means we just didn't do a good enough job explaining it. So we got a special guest tonight. We got Dave Shift, one of the directors of the campaign, and he is going to do a quick rundown on it, and then we're going to start talking some steel. It's a big round of applause for Dave Shamp, driving all the way down here. Thank you much. Thanks, Cameron. I caught my first steelhead in 1974. How many of you were sucking air in 1974? Not very many, but a few. Hey, so these guys are going to give you all these hot tips and techniques on how to catch fish today, right? You got to have bobbers. You got to do the side drifting deal. You got to do the bobber dogging deal. You got to have a $10,000 boat or you're not even in the game, right? When I caught that first steelhead in 1974, we fished a 12 to 18 inch leader with a three-aught hook and a number two Oki drifter. And we caught fish every single time we went fishing. We didn't need all this fancy crap you guys need. <laughs> you know why we didn't need all that fancy crap? Because the rivers were full of fish. Back in the day, they would plant over seven million Hatchery steelhead up and down the Oregon coast. Seven million coho up and down the Oregon coast. You know how many they plant today? About 200,000. We didn't have to know shit to catch fish. There were just that many fish there today. Talk to your friends, talk to your fellow fishermen, talk to your relatives. Tell people why hatcheries are important. That's how we're gonna change the game. If you want a consumptive fishery, if you wanna be able to take a salmon or a steelhead home to eat, you need hatchery food. Drop it, speechless. <laughs> <laughs> you huge round of applause. Yes. Okay guys, so once, now let's, talk, now let's talk some fishing, right? Okay, so I'm Cameron Black, owner and operator, Gone Kitchen Guide Service. And a lot of times we do these seminars, you know, we all run through our steelhead gear and we end up, you know, kind of rehashing a lot of the same things. So I'm going to make it just super brief because what we're going to do is what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about just a lot of the worm and the jig presentations that we're going to run under a fixed and slide float, like where you're going to want to apply them. And then Jordan is going to talk about everything beads, bobber dogging, and then the single bead rigs as well. When you're really looking at presenting a worm and really looking at presenting a jig, Determining like how to start like with the setup is crucial because at the end of the day No matter what I show you no matter what color worm we talk about no matter what jig we talk about No matter what 
anything we talk about, if it's not presented to them correctly, they will not hit it. They don't even get a chance to see it. And generally a steelhead, unless he's just completely suicidal, he's not gonna swim 25 feet for it either. Water conditions prevent that. Maybe the fish are pressured. Maybe the water's clear and they're a little skittish. So at the end of the day, we really gotta make sure that these presentations are always like getting in front of fish wherever they may be. Let's give oh, Cam right. a little round of that's applause right. here. Everybody. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Sam, too. My goodness, I was about ready to run out here with a torch and a pitchfork for a minute there. Yeah. I'm going to go over that's the right. mall and burn down the Patagonia store. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, guys. Well, we could go on all day and all night and all next week about beads and about everything else that goes along with them. And I'm going to cover as much as I can in this short little piece. I'm going to open it up to a lot of, a lot of questions from you guys. But first things first, I'm gonna go over setup. I'm gonna go over bead sizes, I'm gonna go over color, and then I'm gonna go over probably what's more important than any of it at all, and it's presentation. But that setup, anything under about a five and a half foot leader is what you wanna have if you're fishing that single setup. And that is because you're fishing a very buoyant presentation. If you're fishing a single yarny or anything over a 14 millimeter bead, once you get it down in that water column, just physics takes place and that bead wants to float, especially the big, the big ones the big 20 mils and the 30 mils that they're starting to come out with, you want to shorten your leader with the bigger that your bead is. A lot of times I'll fish these small beads and these micro beads and anything under about a 12 mil on a longer leader just because you get that natural presentation. All right, everybody. Well, we're going to give you a little bit to shop here. Uh, there's 20% discount on every single sponsor that we have, Nick Wax, um, all this stuff, all the Mad River, everything that we have our name on is 20% off here. I believe we've got some X rods you guys can play with up front here. Um, but for me, Cameron and Marlon, we love you all. Thank you so much for coming. Whoever wins this calm cooler, they need to have that sticker on there. All right, guys, let's everybody give a big hand for fishermen for putting this on for us. Yeah. We're going to start drawing numbers. Uh, let's give Dave Schiff one more hand from Hot 3 Wild Coding. Yeah. 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 I got like a long dialer rod. Actually, and we'll like start drawing numbers. Go, Mike. I got 40 tickets in here. Yellow. Last three? Last three? Yeah, we're going to read the last three numbers on your blue ticket. Six, two, two. Woo! Yeah. Guys, you're out. Yeah. Woo! If you guys don't cheer for your fellow anglers that Woo! win things, yeah. I'm gonna keep some of this stuff for myself. Right. Right. Five, one, six. Oh, cool. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 All right, huge shout out to Gerber. The next person is gonna win a Gerber fillet knife. Woo! Is a calm cooler. I'm sure you guys Which have I'll heard us. This ticket I, I just was about and Mike already draw it, so he's just gonna he's gonna get you guys haven't heard about Calm, they're local USA made company. We love working with them, and so if you're looking for a cooler, I highly suggest you look at these Kongs. There's a bunch of different reasons why. And we have a special addi addicted discount code. If you guys want it, just shoot me a message and I'll hook you up so you guys can purchase one of these. But someone's about to win one. Six six five. Yeah! Hey dude, you bet man. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck out there, man. Thanks again. Good meeting you guys. Thank you. Alright addicts, there you have it. Little behind the scene looks into our bashes. It was a great time. How'd your seminar go? Oh man, it was uh it was quite busy. I mean we had Dave Champ coming in doing some hatchery while I coexist. That got everybody. Oh yeah. Did you get in. that on film, Sean? 
Oh, so yeah. you guys got to see that. Oh though. man, he got everyone zoned in just wanting fish. And then of course he's talked about catching fish. And had a lot of great questions, a lot of great answers. We got some good interaction Dude, afterwards. Dude, and tons of people showed up. That's Dude, what was really was cool. Over, over 300. 300. Over 300 people, over 300 of you addicts came and yeah. supported. Comment below if you were at this batch because that would be fun to know. Drop a comment below. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Let us know if you want to see more of these behind the scene kind of into our world kind of things because we'll do more of them if you want. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the river. Bye guys.